Come on! The St. Hawk Falcons then practice with wind sprints to make sure they finish strong in the fourth quarter. Most of the coaches yell encouragement from the sideline, but the latest addition to the staff is off with the whistle, leading the way. I can't let them outwork me. That's the major thing. Quarterbacks always got to lead, lead by example, and that's the biggest thing. Setting the example is former UNC star quarterback Marquise Williams in his new role as quarterback's coach at St. Augustine. The experience he brings invaluable to these Falcons players. He is a proven winner. He's an outstanding competitor. And most thing I like about him more than anything, he's just a good human being. They work hard around here. They grind every day. Um, and they don't take nothing for granted. And that's what I love. I mean, they just got a grit. Not that players are questioning him, but recently having played and won big time college football games gives Marquise the instant credibility few other coaches have. It's awesome having someone of that expertise with that caliber coming out here and being our coach. Um, ever since we moved to North Carolina, I was about four years old coming from New Mexico. I was always a Tar Heel fan. They can go and highlight and Google and watch him, and they see that this guy was an outstanding player. But like I said, the other thing I want people to know is that he grew and matured through college the way that you want to see people do. An example of growth and maturity for the players and coaching staff alike. I mean, how else would head coach David Bowser, an NC State graduate, trust and welcome a UNC guy like Marquise to the fold? <laughs> Believe you me, that was a tough decision, but sometimes you have to look past your own personal feelings and, and go with what's probably best for your kids. First team meeting, um, I said my name is Marquise Williams. UNC Tar Heel, you know, and then Coach Barber, Anthony Barber got up and said, I am Anthony Barber, NC State Wolf Go Pack. So, you know, we already been beefing. It's just it's a rival that's never going to end. I guess some traditions never graduate. I'm Chris Clark, CBS 17 Sports.